Hey guys, Potato here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make thumbnails like me. So, I see a lot of people with, I wouldn't say bad thumbnails, but inconsistent and a lot of things, really. Now, I'm gonna be showing you the Photoshop method. So, I'm sorry to anybody who doesn't have Photoshop. If you want to crack it, I'll leave the link in the description to where I got my crack. So, yeah. Adobe, please don't kill me. Now, when you're opening a new flipping document, you want it to be set on pixels, pixels by inch, 8 bit. 72 resolution RGB color and you can have it on transparent or white It's whatever really now you put the width on 1280 this is what I do 720 now some people love it on 1920 by 1080 resolution I don't do that they do it because I'm not sure to be honest I do it this way now when you do that it should be it with this if you ever noticed I used that image in one of my Resident Evil 2 episodes but instead of using that exact same image I use that one and I put my face into Leon's body and made myself him pretty much. Now you want sort of a catchy background, don't just go ahead and use the arrows because that will ruin your aspect ratio. And um, if you stretch it wide enough it will create pixels in your image so you hold shift and you drag at the same time. And there you go, you've kept your aspect ratio and you have no pixels, hopefully. Now click on your layer and you can pretty much like, you know, edit it to how you want it to look from the adjustments section, so. Now what I do, I go on selective colour. So you, you click that. Now you click whichever colour you want, just mess around with it until you get what you want. Alright, boom, that looks alright. If you do something you don't like, you can go back to history, check it, and delete it. Press this option, and you will get a new layer. What I do, I go onto my brush tool, and whoa, we will not have it that big. Now, if you want to change the size on your brush tool, then go up here, select that option, and well 400 for me is around you know perfect so go to your color you can change it to whatever color you want but i choose black because you know it creates like a shadow effect if you like go down the edges a lot now you should have something like this okay so you're not gonna leave it like this unless you're an absolute moron. So you want to bring the opacity way, 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 way down to around something like say 30. New layer. Uh, get the brush tool out again. I'll keep it out. And you want to change it to white. Now this is seriously important to me, anyways, because if you don't know how to like manage like dark places and dark spaces and like thumbnails like grey areas and darker areas then it's not gonna stand out you know what I mean so to lighten it up there you go mate you do that blending options you do the same exact thing you did with the last one you bring it down but as you can see it's now added some more light and you know textures around the thumbnail and the point of these these like shadows around the edges is so the things in front of it can stand out a lot better go back to your background you selected now i do this like quite often um you, you can do it if you want to i go on filters i go on blur I use the Gaussian Blur, alright. Now, I normally have that on 
basically it blurs that little background image and it hasn't done it that well with this particular background but it basically makes things like text and images on the image stand out a lot more than what they previously did so now i'm gonna show you how to pretty much like take Deadpool's face or whoever's face it is out of an image and put yours in there so now once you've got your image you'll make a new document by left clicking on this like little bar right here on photoshop click on new document now press ok once you've got all the settings <laughs> left alt and scroll up and what you'll what will do is you know make you zoom in of course whatever press enter get all your pen tool now this is very intimidating all right and i'll admit it it took me a while to get used to if you have patience you will get used to this you might you want to go around the head because you want to be cropping the head out so yeah, make sure the points meet up at the end. Once your anchor points are near each other, just click the last one that you did, and it should like have a circle around it. Now go into selection, make a selection, and basically it will, you know, have this like flipping worms like going around or whatever it is, man. They look like ants going around in circles to me but grab out your eraser if it must be rasterized then just rasterize it all right go in this this is what i do because it saves a lot of time you can save this image if you wish uh it's what i do so i don't have to like mess around with it i can just do it like this make sure you save it as a png all right that is super important now get an image of your face or whoever's face you want to use and basically put it in so what you do you grab the pencil again now what i do i start from below the neck because you're only getting the head you're putting your head in deadpool's body so you're basically cutting off his head and putting your head in there now i didn't show you this before because of my moron but to get them to join together you'll see a little circle Boop. just click it and there we go it's now a unified mother flipper now click on mask now i have a vector mask on my mask selected so now i have this thing now the image of me now save that picture as a png don't forget guys I already have like a bunch of mine saved in case I need to use them again so yeah and I, I already have this one but I wanted to show you guys how to do it so now call it anything there we go save okay boom all right nice here we are meeting up with Deadpool what's up mate so what you want to do, obviously, if you put the head on that way, you'll be doing an exorcist twist. So it won't make sense. So what you want to do, mate? Hold shift. Grab this one. And basically move him to the other side. And there you go. Boom. Right, enter, bring him down onto the bottom so when you select Deadpool over it, he goes over the image. So yeah, you want it that way. Now what you want to do is resize the image, zoom in, and this is where the fun part starts. There you go mate. Now what I'm going to use is the actual Photoshop logo. And you'll see why I'm using this in a minute. Boom, press enter, put it anywhere you want. Put it in a place that, you know, looks right at least. Go to blending options, give it a bevel and boss console, whatever. Make sure you give it a drop shadow at least. So get him out, have him sit on the Photoshop logo. There we go, mate. Look at that. Now, what you want is a text, alright? 
Now this has got to be one of the most important steps of all. Right, the font mate. I normally use a lemon and milk. I get like all these sort of fonts from a page called thefont.com. Now the stroke is a definite. Now you want an inner glow. Boom. Gradient overlay. Boom, you'll grab yourself a gradient there. There you go, mate. That looks sick, I think. Anyways. Now, just do that with the rest of them. Now, once you've done the effects, you want to, like, move it around. So, basically resize it and stuff. You want to make it readable. There you go. We've moved it around. And that's our thumbnail done. So, well... It looks done and it looks pretty good, so I guess it's the end of the video. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to leave a like and share the video to your friends who also need the same support. This has been Flimsy Potato. Suck your mum.